I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's so good to be with you today. It is a brand new day. It's a brand new week and God has given us grace to press on and to do great things. My dear friend, use all the opportunities and all the chances that God gives you to live to the fullest and God will enable you to do what only he can do through you. He will enable you to do great exploits. Now, my dear friend, as you know, today is Monday and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you that I know will bless you. So without any further delay, let us begin. We're going to begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I'll share this word with you and I'll also share some scriptures that God gave me. And I trust and believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in today. Help me to receive from the Father. Help me to make a massive impact even in this week. Help me to make progress. Help me to go forward and make progress in this week. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that he gave me to share. Wait on the Lord. Don't give up. Wait patiently on the Lord. Listen for ideas and inspiration that God will give you in this season, and don't be afraid to follow the leading of the Lord in this regard. As God leads you, you will do great things, things that you never thought you would do, and they will even shock you. Those who know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. Now, my dear friend, even as the Lord gave me this word, he led me to the book of Hebrews chapter 6 from verse 15. It says, And so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. My dear friend, if you want to receive from God, some things that you receive will be instant, and other things that you receive you will have to wait patiently. And with regards to those things that you have to wait patiently on God and trust Him in faith, there is no way you can receive them if you are not patient. You have to be able to wait for God, and God will do it in the time that He sees is fit. Understand and know God knows better than we do. God knows us better than we know ourselves. God knows our situation better than we think we know it. And therefore, He knows best. He knows better than we do. And we should trust Him. We should wait on His timing. God's time is the best time. Now, after that, the Lord led me to the book of Daniel, chapter 13, from verse 32. It says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. My dear friend, get to know God and you will become strong and you will do great exploits. If your desire is to do great exploits in this land, if your desire is to do great things where you make a massive impact, great things in the area of business, great things in the area of your career, great things in the area of ministry, great things in the area of your family, great things in the area of community, great things in the area of outreach, whatever area it might be, as you get to know your God, he will help you to do great exploits. Trust and believe in God and He will see you through. Now in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to praise God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, know and believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words. Just mean it with all of your heart. Father, we just praise you and we thank you. We thank you for another day and another week. It is another opportunity to press on and to receive from you. It is a great opportunity to press on and receive what you have for us. By your grace and by your mercy, we know we will make it far. And we will not give up, we will not give in. We will follow you. Because we know you are our God, you speak and you live. You are the God who speaks and you live. Do great things in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. Do great things in my dear friend's family, in my dear friend's surrounding, in my dear friend's purpose and destiny. And even as you do so, receive all the praise, receive all the honor, receive all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you. Comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. 
There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend, even right now in line with this word. Give my dear friend the grace to wait patiently on you for those things that you require, my dear friend, to wait patiently. Give my dear friend grace to listen to what you are saying. And as my dear friend listens, let my dear friend do great things that my dear friend thought they would never do in this season and possibly even in their lifetime. Do great and mighty things. Give my dear friend the grace to know you and to do great exploits in the land. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I bless you. May this week be filled with the goodness and mercy of God. May God open doors and surprise you with good things. May God do good and great things in your life. May God bless you and your family members. And may God give you good health and a good state of being in your heart. Wherever there's any hurt and pain, may God take it away. Wherever there's any bitterness because of things that happened in the past, may God take it away and give you peace. Wherever you faced any depression, any sorrow, any feeling of being weighed down, may God remove that weight, may God remove that depression, may God remove that sorrow and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My dear friend, in saying that, we've come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.